welcome back. That's right. You made it to Friday. It's time for a new episode. We're bringing you the Black Mamba. It's a car we showed you a while back, but now we're going to catch up to speed. By the way, I'm going to the South Dakota for the rally. Yes! Right now, we're here on the Black Mamba. What we're doing is, if you can see the marks we've made in the doors, because what, what basically happens in old cars is they pillow really bad. So over time, um, the doors would become high, the, the, the gapping stuff would be small. So what we like to do is we go in there and we shrink the doors down. You can see where all the little spots are. Those are little, those are little heat. And we hammer it and then cool it. So then when we're done, we have a door that's flat. So when our, when our car is done and painted, this thing is gonna be flat. You can see that one's done. This one we started on, but look at how crazy this is. Look at this. See how much difference there is? Because this is really high. So this is basically all the metal work that my boys do here to push this in to make this flat. So once this is sucked back in, shrank, then the whole side of the car, when you look down it, is gonna be straight as an arrow. And the car's gonna be black, it has to be fucking perfect. This is the best way to do it. If you, if, if you have a car somewhere and they're not doing the metal work first, then they're just slinging a bundle on your car, and I'm sorry, you have some shit. Not my fault. All right, so, to see some of the stuff that we're doing here, My man there is putting the straight edge on it to check the shrinking that's going on and where he has left to pull down or push up or, or metal shape. So that way when we go to put Bondo on it, we have very, very, very thin layer. It's not very bad at all and it, it'll, it'll just make the car fucking perfectly straight. All the metal finishing is done. All the gapping is done. These guys are laying down a nice light coat of Bondo and then blocking it so it's perfectly straight. Right now he's getting down on the rear quarters. Uh, the other side is three quarters away done. The deck lid is almost finished. Follow me. The deck lid is like on its last leg of just little touch ups here and there. This will be primed today. This will be primed today. As soon as we get back that back quarter done. So stay tuned, it's gonna look good. One coyote motor delivered. <laughs> got it back from the body shop. They got the first roughed in, all the metal work done. Now it's time to do some surgery in this area for the coyote swap. We usually trim the frame rails back. We have a motor training mount kit for it. Uh, we use, we're gonna have to build a firewall plate, make sure that's all smooth and clean, get rid of all this garbage. And I think we're actually going to do a rack and pinion on this and we'll do a rack and pinion kit. So that's where we stand right now. Well, here it is. She ain't pretty. <laughs> Not yet. We're going to rip off all these control arms, all the steering, all this old exhaust, and then all this undercoating. They used to sell that at the factory as an upgrade. They'd be going here and go, and it's just nasty, horrible stuff. It's getting a new rear end, four nine inch, um, new fuel tank, and of course our suspension kit. So we're going to rip all this stuff out, get this thing naked, and see what she shows us. Look at, look how clean that is falls right off. Hopefully the whole car does that. It. Stay tuned because this guy just pulled the trigger on a Wimple supercharger, so this thing's gonna be bad as hell. And by the way, we did pick a winner last week, and the first person to answer correctly was Jeff Burgum. So you're getting a hat and a shirt. Be looking in the mail for that, or you can just come pick it up. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, like, and I gotta get back.
bachelor party. Have a good weekend. Stay out of jail. Woo!